The male to female slider in Make Human allows you to create gender bender blender renders using entirely free software. But can you import into Blender with a full IK rig, facial controls, and the ability to import motion capture data, allowing you to lip sync for the lazy? Well, yeah. Hello, hello, hello! I'm going to assume you've already downloaded and installed both Blender and Make Human. The next stage is to go to makehumancommunity.org, go to Downloads, Plugins page, and you want to download MHX2 for Make Human, MHX2 for Blender, and while you're about it, you may as well install Puppy and Asset Downloader. This allows you to get loads of clothes and accessories for Make Human that are either completely free, or you can use them if you credit the creator. I'd just like to point out that you can use Make Human to make characters who are not drag queens. So, installing plugins in Make Human. First, we have to find the Make Humans plugin folder, and this is in a slightly different place on all three operating systems. On Windows, Make Human doesn't really install it, just runs from wherever you unzipped it. So that folder with the Make Human X in it, that you click every time you want to run Make Human, within that folder, there's another folder called Plugins. On a Mac, you go to Applications and you right-click Make Human and select Show Package Contents. Open up Contents, within that Resources, within that Plugins. On Linux, well, Debian-based Linux, which is most of them, you go to User, Share, Make Human, Plugins. So here are the add-ons. That folder wants to get copied into the add-on folder that we just discussed. So does that one. And that one. Folders whose names start with numbers are the ones that you want to copy into the add-ons folder. Sorry I wasn't able to show you this, but I don't have access to all three operating systems. Installing add-ons on Blender, on the other hand, is really easy. You don't even have to unzip them. You just go to File Menu, User Preferences, Add-on, Install from File, Double-click the file, Tick the tick box, Save. Sorry, was that a bit fast? File menu, user preferences, add on, install from file, double click the file, tick the tick box, save. So, there are a few things you should know before exporting from Make Human. If you want to use your character for lip sync, then you should probably give them teeth. Tongues, not so important. What are you on about? Give her a tongue! Also, you have to export them unposed. If you prefer to design your character in a pose, just go to Pose Animate, and on Pose, scroll up and go None. And you need to do the same for expressions. Now you're ready to export. Files, Export. And now, added to the list, we have Make Human Exchange. I bet you were wondering what MHX stands for. You may want to use meter rather than decimeter, but it's not a game changer. Importing into Blender on the other hand, well, let's go to Cycles first. Uh, import MHX2, select my file, stop right there. Actually, we want to go down to this thing and go override exported data. And then there's a whole load of buttons here to go. Okay, the first option is import human type. Well, the base is the base mesh. Proxy, if you uh, watched my crowd tutorial, you'll know what the proxy mesh is. It's the super low poly one. If you're doing a uh, dynamic physics simulated hair, then you'll use the proxy mesh for the hair to bounce off. And then there's the option of doing both. Right now, I'm just going to do the base. Helper geometry is interesting. If you import that, your character will come with a long low poly skirt, long low poly hair, and a penis. I'm going to leave it off for now. Offset? Yeah, I like that. There you go. Add offset for feet on ground. Yeah, let's tick that. And face shapes? Yes, we do want to tick that. But strangely enough, we don't want to tick face shape drivers. Subdivision surface? Do you want to put a subdivision surface on all your models? Well, it's an option, but I'd rather do it myself in Blender so I don't 
st- it doesn't just slow right down when I import. And masking. Right, okay. So, the clothes are covering large proportions of the body, right? Now, we could just ignore them. So, we've got the the body mesh underneath the clothes all the way. We could apply it so it actually cuts it out. Or we can use a modifier, which means it makes some of them invisible if they're actually underneath clothes. But it doesn't completely delete them so that we can bring them back if we want to. This is very useful, say, if you're importing clo- a, an item of make human clothing that consists on both shorts and a t-shirt, but you only want to use the shorts, for example. I'm going to leave it that option. Merge body parts. Do you want all the uh, the eyes, the eyebrows, face, skin, clothes, etc.? Do you want them to be all one object? Up to you. I'm going to choose no. Genitalia. I think we'll leave this off for now. Hair. This is not the hair that you selected in Make Human. This is physics hair created in Blender. Rigging. Yes, we definitely want to add a rig. And the rig that we want is an MHX and we want rotation limits which means the be- the elbows and knees for example won't bend further than is possible and we definitely want the face panel now we get to actually just before we press this button now we don't want to type in that all lot again let's go up to this drop down here and type plus and create ourselves a preset called I don't know I like it like this Okay, and so we can get that next time. Okay, so now we've got uh, this grid of face face controls, so we can control the expression with that. And we've got this rather nice rig, so we can pose the character as we see fit. I mentioned IK a few times, or inverse kinematics. If we go to MHX2 runtime and we load up the FK IK switch, at the moment it's posed on forward kinematics, but if I want the right arm to go FK, I can now move the hand and the arm will follow. Likewise for the other arm. and both feet. One thing you'll find if you get this kind of folding problem and you weren't seeing it in uh, Make Human earlier, then it's probably a good idea to select the mesh that's having the folding problem and you go to Modifiers and tick Preserve Volume. I promised you motion capture data import, didn't I? Okay, let's go to my website, yogyog.org. And we can go to education, tutorials, from Make Human to Blender with IK and face controls. I wish I could have come up with a shorter name than that. I didn't create these add-ons. They're made by the Make Human team. All I did was zip them up individually, ready for you to download them. And File menu, user preferences, add-ons. 